And welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A Florida senator is pushing for an emergency retroactive ban on certain DJI and Autel drones. Not good. And then we also have a new drone payload that can physically restrain suspect from the air. And then lastly, well, a good old Don't Be That Guy segment. Let's get to it. And first up, we have Florida Senator Rick Scott that sent a letter on October 20th to the FCC urging the agency to take aggressive action, I quote, uh, against DJI and Autel Robotics. Uh, he's not just asking for a future ban, he's demanding that the FCC retroactively revokes all equipment authorization from DJI and Autel that have been issued since December 23rd of 2024, so pretty much over the last year. This letter specifically calls out what Scott describes as deliberate evasion strategy where Chinese companies allegedly use shell companies in order to get around US restrictions. Now, the letter also outlines three major demands. The first one is to rescind all existing FCC authorization for DJI and Autel since the 2025 National uh, Defense Authorization Act was enacted. Uh, so going back to December 23rd of 2024, last year-ish. Second, to deny any new licenses to devices that use components or software from these companies and then third, to strengthen corporate disclosure rules to prevent shell companies from hiding who actually owns them. Now, this is all happening just before the FCC vote on October 28th that we talked about last week, uh, which is aimed at closing loopholes that allow the sale and equipment of uh, with, with different components from companies that are on the covered list. This looks pretty grim, but there's a big caveat here. Autel and DJI are not on the covered list for the FCC, meaning that the FCC vote has nothing really to do with any of them at this time. Uh, it could affect them later if they are added in December, but at the moment, the issue is not really applicable and will not result in an immediate ban of DJI equipment that was authorized last year. And even then, if you think about it, it looks like uh, this would only affect the Mini 5 Pro, which is not currently really available for sale in the US, even though it is in a few places, uh, which was approved only a few months ago. Uh, the Mavic 4 Pro was the model before that, which also is not available in the US, but that was approved before the NDA was enacted in December of 2024. Now, as always, this is a good time to reach out to your representative to demand an extension of the audit. The audit needs to be completed. It has to be completed. Uh, if we want to end this national security debate once and for all, it's got to be completed. And of course, if you're in Florida, reach out to Senator Scott and tell him what you think about this. Next up, we have a story that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Uh, Rap Technologies had just unveiled a drone payload system that can physically restrain a person from the air. It's called a DFR-X payload, uh, also called the Merlin Interdictor, and it essentially mounts their tether technology onto a drone. Now, Rap Technologies is the same company that is behind the Bolo Wrap, which is a non-lethal uh, remote restraint tool that uh, is used by law enforcement to de-escalate situation and safely detain individuals. Think about it as like a, uh, a lasso that kind of wraps around uh, people. So how does this actually work from the drone side? Well, the system is drone agnostic. Uh, it has a payload that has six cassettes and each of these cassettes can deploy an eight foot Kevlar tether that is going to shoot out at 500 feet per second in order to wrap around the suspect arms and legs. Now the company says that it's non-lethal. It's a tool that's designed to deter, delay and disrupt threatening behavior uh, before officers can arrive at the scene. Now, they're also positioning it as a life-saving tool for situations like active shooters in schools or dynamic SWAT operations. Uh, Pre-orders are scheduled to begin in November of 2025, though the pricing has not been announced. Uh, this actually marks quite a major shift uh, as far as drone as first responders or DFR programs, where so far they have been focused entirely on observation and situational awareness. This takes it kind of to the next level. And then in our next story, and finally, a Don't Be That Guy segment. Three men were arrested near Washington State Prison in Georgia after deputies allegedly found them with a drone and other evidence that was quoted as indicative of an attempted drone drop. Now, according to the Washington County Sheriff's Office, deputies allegedly spotted a suspicious vehicle that was leaving the prison area just after midnight on Saturday and then pulled them over for traffic violations. 
Inside, they found the drone and arrested the three individuals on charges of trading with inmates and flying an unmanned aircraft. Now, this is sadly not an isolated incident here in Georgia. Uh, this was the second major bust that they did at that prison in just 10 days. And then previously, four people were arrested for allegedly conducting the drone drop. The local sheriff reported that the office has stopped 21 attempts drone drops in 2024 alone. And then statewide, the Georgia Department of Correction has logged over a thousand thousand drones incidents since 2022. Now, this problem is exactly why the FCC recently voted to potentially explore allowing states and local prisons to use cell phone jamming technology. The idea here is that jamming the signal would force the operator to get closer to the prison, making them much easier to catch. Uh, it's a reminder that the actions of a few bad actors unfortunately have a big impact on the perception of the entire industry and can lead to much more restrictions and, um, well, for everyone involved. So as always, please don't be that guy. And then on post-flight, this is the unfiltered show that we host on the premium community. We're gonna be talking about a story that we haven't discussed in several months, the New Jersey drones, yay. Uh, yeah, more information actually came out this week. Uh, so join us if you wanna hear more of our thoughts on this and the rest of the stories. In the meantime, we'll see you on Monday for the live and then back here next week as well. You have a great weekend and we'll see you then. <laughs> you should do, you should do the, uh the old police with the zoom, like, you know, the, the police shows that they had and then person spins and then it zooms on them and it puts their name underneath. <laughs> and finally, uh, don't be sight. <laughs> Great, what is that shirt? It says don't be that guy. It's a prototype. Are you testing it to see if we should make more? We're definitely gonna make more. This is not the right color, but we will uh, have one. Are those available for sale? Not yet. Do you think they'll be available for sale later? Yes, they will. As always, please don't be that guy. <laughs>